Hi, it looks as though we are live now. This is France and uh, today we are going to do a pencil portrait. So I'm just going to send you a little hi here in the comments. Um, so yeah, this is going to be an, about an hour together. And as you know, the next uh, three broadcasts, including this one, are going to be in uh, partnership with uh, Faber-Castell who make uh, these really amazing supplies, and that's what I'm going to use today. So first, um, why don't we uh, introduce each other? Welcome, and I'm so glad you guys can make it. Um, we've got Uta from Germany. Hi. Um, Ray from Virginia. My goodness. This is great. Betty from Saskatoon in Canada. This is amazing. I love when people you know, tune in, I'm thinking that Saskatoon is probably about two hours, uh, yeah, two hours in time zones away from New Jersey, maybe, or maybe it's three, I don't know, I think it's two. Betty, please confirm, I'm not sure. Um, oh my goodness, Alberto from northern Spain, and Anne from uh, California. This is so cool. Thank you so much, uh, guys, for, for being here. Marcel, hello. Ravi from India. Ooh, wow. Marnie from Wales in the United Kingdom. That's amazing for all of you to be here today. Um, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about, uh, about what we're going to do. Hi, Isabelle from France. Uh, Wade, D. Wade from the UK. Paul from New Jersey. Wow, this is cool. Uh, Orlando, Florida. And Betty, two time zones, right? Okay, so yeah, we were we were close. So which means it's about 10 o'clock in the morning for you. Um, Amuda Selami from Tunisia. My goodness. So Amuda, I hope you speak some French. You probably do. Uh, Janice. Janice, where are you? From Falls Church, Virginia. Raul from uh, DR. Very cool. Uh, and Nikolai Houston from New Jersey. Yay! Carol, hi. Rahana, hi from South Africa. Wow, so how many continents do we have represented here? We have a bunch, right? This is great. So welcome. Thank you for being here. This is going to be another hour of sketching. And uh, today is the first of three broadcasts in partnership with uh, Father Castel. And I'm really excited about this because I've always liked their supplies a lot. And I'm going to introduce you to these supplies as I, um, you know, as I get situated here. Okay, we've got, uh, oh my gosh, Janga, Jangra uh, Danraj from India and Joel Schilling from New Jersey. This is so cool. Oh, Joel, I, I need to confess to you uh, that I once, a long time ago, about 20 years ago exactly, had a boyfriend named Joel Schelling. So it's really, it's really wild when I see your name pop up. I'm like, no, that can't be him. Um, so, all right, we're going to um, go ahead and introduce a little bit of what's going on today, because as you know, we're doing a pencil portrait. And the pencil portrait will be done using... Uh, Faber-Castell um, supplies. Faber-Castell, I guess. Faber-Castell, we say in French. Um, and I would like to uh, lay down some of the some of the nice pencils that I have here with me, so that you can see them. Okay. And I'm going to switch so that you can actually see uh, what I see. Let me see. Okay. Okay. All right, so can you see my uh, white sheet of paper? Um, so first of all, let me tell you what's happening with uh, Faber-Castell. I am going to lay them down here so that you can see them, okay? Can you start seeing those, uh, those supplies lining up? All right, they're not necessarily in order of hardness or anything like this, but that's okay. So. These pencils that I have here in front of me are some, some great, uh, great quality graphite pencils. And I'm going to try them out on this piece of paper before I start drawing today. Please know that 
through this partnership with uh, Faber-Castell, you can go to uh, FaberCastell.com and Castell spells with two L's and get 20% off any of their supplies, um, well, mostly pencils, but also other supplies, if you enter the code SKETCHY. It's pretty cool because, uh, you know, we spend quite a bit of money on supplies. I mean, I know I do. Even though I'm not a fan of spending too much money, I don't believe in expensive things. Um, but 20% off is welcome. So, again, uh, FaberCastell.com, uh, you can actually get a 20% off uh, discount with uh, Sketchy as a code. Okay, so um, there's something else happening, and uh, this is way, way cool, is that um, before I introduce you to the material, do you know that throughout this month, any member of the Drawing with France group has a chance uh, to win, to be out of uh, 10 members, uh, to win a set of Faber-Castell graphite pencils because tomorrow 10 people out of the Drawing with France group on Sketchy Art School are going to be chosen uh, to win a set of uh, graphite pencils. Um, so if you haven't joined the group yet, you know it's entirely free, um, please join. It's on Sketchy Art School and it's Drawing with France, that would be me and you can get a chance to be one of the 10 people who will be chosen tomorrow to get a graphite set, which is much more than what I have here. It's a whole uh, set of, I believe, 10 of them, um, or 12, but you know what? I'm looking at the set that I have. I have a I think it is 12. Um, I have a whole lot of them here, and there are different hardnesses, and this is the kind that we're talking about. Uh, they will last you for a while. They're really good quality. Um, so if you want to take a look underneath um, underneath this broadcast, you have a, a link to FaberCastell.com. That's one thing. That's to get the 20% off. But if you go to Sketchy Art School and join Drawing with Friends, if you haven't yet, you will be one of uh, hopefully 10 people chosen tomorrow uh, to get a free set of graphite pencils just like these. Actually, just like these, because these jumbo ones are a little different and I'm going to talk to you about them uh, today. That's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to draw with as well. So they are like this. They are very cool and they have different um, levels of hardness and we're going to talk about this. So Join Drawing with France, right, on Sketchy Art School. Ten of you are going to get chosen tomorrow to get a free set of these graphite pencils. I mean, that's like, there's no better way to uh, to get motivated to draw something than when you, uh, um, than when you have new supplies, right? Um, all right. Oh, okay. So, hi from New Jersey, Fruit Face, and uh, Zek Rab from Bic... Quatre couleurs, France. <laughs> Yay! Okay, this is great. So people are are joining and joining. This is wonderful. Uh, use some of the um, the links that we have underneath the broadcast today, and uh, and you'll see. Okay, you'll see all the goodies that we have to offer. I will continue reminding you of this as I draw today. Okay, so. How about these pencils, right? How about these graphite pencils? I'm going to put these two jumbo um, aside for now, and I'd like to focus on three out of the set that you would get. And there are different hardnesses. So we've got a 2H here. We have a 2B also here. You can see it. And a 6B. Now, those of you who've been drawing a little bit, right, you know that these three the different kinds of pencils um, have really different kinds of results. And I would like to show this to you right now. So let's start with the 2H, shall we? You know that H is on the hard side of the spectrum. 
and B is on the softer side of uh, the spectrum. So, and the higher the number, either the harder it gets or the softer it gets. So when we have a 2H, um, it's even harder than an H. And so what I'm inviting anybody to do today, and I really hope that you have grabbed also any pencil that you might have. Oh my goodness, hi! Oh, this is great. I'm <laughs> seeing a lot of people. Hi, Madame Vanstone. Oh, this is great. Um, so what I'm going to start doing now is show you a little bit about how this behaves. But I'm not going to hold this pencil the way I usually do, which is like this, right? That's how I hold a pencil usually. I would like to show you uh, how you can make a broad stroke just by uh, using it like this and by trying to draw with the side as much as possible. So this is 2H, which means it's going to be light. Very light. Very light because hard. This graphite is hard. You can see, right? You can barely, in fact, see anything. In order to get any darkness with this, I would have to really press, and even then, I can't really get anything much darker than what I'm doing right here. But here's what I love about 2H or H pencils, is they're great for starting a drawing. Um, and this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to most likely start my drawing of, um, well, you'll see them use in a minute, um, using a 2H. Moving on. Um, everybody knows HB, so I'm not going to really linger on HB. HB is synonymous with number two pencil, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to jump straight to a 2B. Those of you who have followed me for a while know that 2B is my go-to pencil. It is really, for me, the ideal, the most versatile of uh, hardness because, and I'm going to do the same thing, right, holding it like this, because with 2B, you're starting to get a really interesting dark tone. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Now, what's happening, showing underneath here a little bit, is the texture of the paper that I have underneath that I'm going to draw on. But no worries, this doesn't really matter. If I give it a little more pressure, wow, look, I can really achieve some really dark tone. And then relieving the pressure as I go, relieving it and relieving it, I can still achieve something super, super light. And this is why I love the versatility of a 2B, right? Um, and you're absolutely right, Fruit Face 22, indeed. Press too hard. I'm going to uh, feature your, draw, your, uh, your comment because you're absolutely right. Press too hard with an H pencil and you will ruin your paper. That's indeed exactly what happens. So you don't want to stay and try to draw an entire drawing in, in 2H unless, of course, what you're trying to achieve is something extremely, extremely light. But if you try to achieve this kind of darkness with, with a, an H or a 2H, it's, uh, it's probably not going to happen. And that's why switching to something a little softer is, is a really good idea. So that's 2B. As you know, 2B is one of my favorite pencils, favorite hardness. And that makes me show you this jumbo one. Now look at the difference between these two pencils here. This one is normal. I mean, normal, that's the kind that we find in the stores. But Faber-Castell also makes these jumbo ones, which means that the lead itself is much thicker. I mean, look at this compared to this. Okay. Now, why do I like this so much? Because look, I'm going to be able to cover much more ground with this amount of graphite than if I use this this kind of, of hardness. But that's so, of um, of thickness. But that's okay, because what I can do, too, with these kinds of pencils, I don't know about you if you've ever done this, but you can use, um, you know, one of those box cutters and actually um, get rid of the wood so that you expose much more of the, of the lead. Now, the danger of doing this is that the lead can break. You know, the graphite is obviously um, pretty fragile. So 
yeah, this is um, this is definitely a risk. But this, oh, this. I absolutely love the thickness of this. And I use um, a pencil sharpener, which, hmm, believe it or not, I've had this one for years, Faber-Castell. I love this pencil sharpener because, of course, every time I open it, I put little bits everywhere. Um, but this is great because it's got a special one for color. Um, I don't know if you can see, it says color grip, but also the universal one. And this one is big enough to allow me to sharpen the jumbo ones, which by the way, um, I don't really sharpen anyway. So there you go. Um, so there it is. This is my favorite pencil sharpener because you can close it and it doesn't make a mess everywhere. You can just uh, fold it onto itself. That's uh, Faber-Castell. You've probably seen this in the stores. All right, so again, uh, continuing with 2B, I'd like to show you. So this is the same hardness as the one I was just using a minute ago, right? This is the same as this, except much thicker. Um, depending on how much of it I want to use, you know, the side of that of that lead, um, I can either cover a lot of ground or less. But basically, this is exactly the same lead as I was using a minute ago. You go back a little bit and you add a little dark, a little pressure, and boom. Okay, so that's 2B. Um, because I've used it quite a bit already, um, I can also try to make it even thicker. I can, but frankly, what I'm interested in is showing you just quickly how much how much ground I can cover, but also how much light I can achieve, right? Look at that. So that's 2B. And then there's 6B. 6B, my gosh, 6B. This is a dream. Um, now, I don't always draw in 6B because it's a little dark, because now we are really going into um, butter territory. This is going to be super soft. So take a look. Again, holding my pencil like this so I can use the side. Now I'm achieving some darker darks without applying that much pressure. And this, this is trickier to achieve something light with something so dark because it wants to be dark. Look at this. This is where it's happiest. That's where, you know, 6B really delivers, right? In the darks. Oh, look at that. This is really great quality stuff here. And again, what you see showing through a little bit underneath is the texture of the paper that I'm about to use today. So 6B is, uh, is great when you want to go into those areas of the face uh, where you're going to need, you know, some easy dark, so to say. So I'm going to use this today a little bit. Um, 2B is going to be uh, what I'm going to use the most for today's drawing. And I'm going to use a little bit of 2H. I don't know, honestly, that I am going to use the HB that much, even though it is also one of my favorites because so versatile. Um, as you know, HB is exactly in the middle of hard and soft. It is a number two pencil, more or less. And I like it quite a bit. Um, but I lean towards uh, a little bit of a darker softer lead personally, which is the 2B. And that's what we're going to use mostly today. So let me ask you, those of you who are watching right now and who are going to draw with me, uh, what are you using? Are you using a thick graphite? I don't know if you have any Faber-Castell uh, supplies with you. Um, if you don't, well, maybe you will, because it, guess what's going to happen, right? You know that if you join Drawing with Friends, the group on Sketchy Art School, um, tomorrow there will be 10, uh, 10 of you uh, who have joined the group, and it's free to join, 10 of you will be picked to get a free set of 10 uh, graphite pencils like these from Faber-Castell. 
also using the link the link underneath this video you can go to fabercastell.com and uh, get any of their supplies uh, within the United States I believe uh, for 20% off so I would definitely uh, take advantage of that okay so I see that uh, some of you are using um, a pencil right now okay hi Jessica oh you just made it home from work no I don't think you missed too much I was just doing a little demo of different hardnesses so again the 6B being uh, this one and the 2H being the top one here okay I did a tiny little bit with my HB right here and this was 2B now whether we used this one or this one but that gives you that gives you an idea of what we are dealing with here I need to introduce you to our muse okay because uh, I need to start drawing at some point I love talking about supplies but I also need to um, to actually draw how about that I mean this is this is just uh, you know a little bit of uh, of scratching on the piece of paper but at some point okay let's 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 get to work here, shall we? All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this uh, photocopy paper, which, as you know, I love drawing on, but today I am going to go with a kind of paper that has a little bit of texture. I'm going to show you what I chose. It's cream colored, which means it's not white, white. Um, this is one of my favorite, absolutely favorite Canson papers. It's heavy. Uh, 147 grams uh, the page uh, the, the dimensions are great it's a little uh, bigger than just a regular piece of A4 paper and um, it's got a nice tooth to it you know it, it's got that medium texture grain moyen here which just grabs enough graphite um, without without being too much you know it's got just the right amount of tooth it's it's such a pleasure to draw on uh, on this paper um, this is bound with uh, obviously with rings so every time I take one off uh, you know I result uh, in this and that's fine and Betty I am super excited to hear that you are using Faber-Castell yay they are my favorites too so great Oh my gosh, Food Face 22, I did not know that Canson papers were also vegan. So I guess that's that's a plus without even knowing it. Good. So I'm about to start. Are you ready? You're not going to be too surprised when I tell you who my muse is. Okay? <laughs> it's Rick. He just posted in the past couple of days some amazing self selfies, I guess. I don't know exactly how he sets it up to take those nice photos, but... They are just so perfect in contrast. Let me show you the one I have chosen for today. Are you ready? There it is. Okay, can you see uh, Rick on the side here? He should be right over, oh, actually he's right over here, right? And um, look at the amount of contrast that there is in, in that photo. I absolutely uh, love this. Um, Hi, <laughs> and I love your comment. Um, hi, Rick McMuse. Yeah, that's exact. I mean, really, he is he is royalty. You're absolutely right, and uh, and I think he deserves all the attention that he gets. So, as usual, I am using this little uh, tablet <clears throat> to as a reference because it's a little bigger than my iPhone, which is not super big. Uh, I mean, it's big, but this is definitely, this offers a little more real estate. And what I like doing personally is blowing it up to almost the size that I'm going to uh, draw it at, you know. So this is a great, great tool to have. The definition on this tablet is great. I would like to focus on his face. If I have enough time to really go into the beard, I will. But what really matters to me today is to establish my proportions and to try to get as much of Rick as possible. So let me see if I've got enough brightness on this. Yes, I do. All right, let me pull him up here. 
Okay, so I've got Rick to my left because I'm right-handed. Um, I've got a nice source of light in front of me. Are you guys ready to draw? Um, the reference photo is, of course, on Sketchy. And I want to guide you through a little bit uh, of some of the early stages of a drawing like this, okay? Okay. You know, Ute, you are saying something that I can definitely relate to because you are a fellow um, European. You know, those of you who know, I, uh, I grew up in Europe and Faber-Castell was the brand uh, of pencils and colored pencils. I mean, really, that was it. Like, if you wanted to offer somebody a, you know, a set of pencils, that, that was the go-to um, the go-to brand. So, yes, I think a lot of what I do is very much impacted by that. I have uh, a mug full of Faber-Castell uh, pencils of my own. Uh, I mean, really, it's, uh, it's, it's quite the brand. Okay, um, so the photo should be... Um, should be here in the comments. And we are going to start with a 2H. Why 2H? Because you know that I like setting up some of my dimensions and my proportions without getting too goofy. Now here's what I'm gonna show you uh, how to do. The worst thing about drawing uh, any kind of pencil or pen portrait, right, um, is that you are going to deal with uh, the, the risk of growing your proportions as you go. And the way to avoid this is to decide right off the bat where your head is going to start and where it's going to stop. Like, where are your, you know, ending, your starting point and your ending point. And once you've determined that, then everything inside that will be the quote-unquote proper drawing, right? So again, we are here drawing with um, Faber-Castell and establishing the first few strokes of a drawing. Now, what I've decided to do here is to draw a rough line here at the top, a rough line here at the bottom, which I believe is where, because Rick, of course, has a beard, so what I believe is Rick's chin area, and everything that I'm going to draw should fit in these two uh, lines. And once you've established that for yourself, you, I mean, first of all, you feel safer. Um, <clears throat> and I do this using uh, this 2H pencil because obviously they're very, you know, they're going to be like the sketchiest of the sketchy um, lines. I'm just using, moving my camera a little bit here because I actually put my Faber-Castell eraser uh, underneath my computer, but there it is. I also have an eraser from Faber Castell. It's uh, it's fairly new. It's nice and soft. I might need it, so that's why I took it out. And okay, how about this? So I've established where the top of his head is, which is easy because you know his his uh, cranium is pretty well defined since there is you know no hair to get in the way here. And what I want to do now is do a really super rough outline of Rick's face, the way that I think is right. His eyebrows are gonna be somewhere here. Did you notice how I'm holding my pencil too? I'm holding it so that the, the lines are very loose and thick, because who cares? This is all gonna be drawn over with then a darker uh, type of graphite. Um, so if I've established that his eyebrows are going to be right about here, okay, there's a little wrinkle here, a little bit of a, of a face happening here, da 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 da, there's going to be quite a bit of darkness here, it's going to be interesting, okay, eyes are going to be right about here, if I'm not mistaken, nose here, let me see, am I getting it right? Yeah, maybe more like here. Maybe the end of the nose, like right about here. Okay, there is a wrinkle here. So what I'm establishing here are really broad strokes. Uh, hi, Philip from Texas. Cool, I'm so glad that you guys are joining in from everywhere. Keep in mind, those of you who are already in uh, <clears throat> Drawing with France group on Sketchy, 
that you are eligible to be one of the 10 people tomorrow to be chosen to win um, a set of graphite pencils by uh, Faber-Castell. So cool! Um, so if you have not joined the group yet, please do. And that's, that's your chance to just get your hands on some, uh, some free material. Now, if you also are interested in shopping at FaberCastell.com, you will get 20% off by using uh, the sketchy code. Sketchy, simply sketchy, the way we all know how to spell it, right? Those of you who know, the special people. Um, and uh, that will get, get you 20% off in the United States. Okay, let me get this right. Okay, just establishing some rough, rough lines here. Um, I don't know if you can even see, but I have a lot of lines happening uh, here. Hi, André uh, from Montréal. Oh my goodness, yay! Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I think my proportions are set. I am okay looking at it right now. I see Rick. I already see him a little bit. Um, I think we're ready to move on to another. I'm super happy with the, the shape up here. So let me try to see if, if I do this, if I'm getting something a little more accurate. Yeah, it's not Seems about right. Again, not being really fussy at the beginning, kind of establishing my proportions and going going with that, just so that Rick can can you know show all his Rickness here, right? And the beard. Okay. I did not even bother drawing the eyes, but at least I know where they are. And really, that's all that matters. You know, the corner of the eyes, somewhere here, and another eye here, which we are about to establish with the darker pencil. That is it for me for 2H. 2H allowed me to establish um, my proportions. Now, something's going to happen is I'm going to go directly into 2B, and then eventually even bringing in some 6B uh, to really go into the darker areas of the drawing, okay? Um, okay, so now, still holding my, my pencil kind of in a goofy way, but you will understand why, because as I do this, I am actually saving a lot of time. Okay, establishing a clear border here. But because Rick on this particular photo is against a fairly dark background, you've noticed, um, I am going to actually establish this dark background with the side of my graphite. You see what I'm doing? And this is one of the things I love the most about having a jumbo uh, pencil in my hand, which you could also do, by the way, if I were to use the 2B, right, this one, you could also do the same, absolutely same thing, you know, with this other Faber-Castell. Um, it's just that, you know me by now, I have a clear preference for graphite that can really cover a lot of ground very quickly. Now, why do I start on this side, what I call the Northwest, is because I'm right-handed. I am sure that if I was left-handed, I would definitely be inclined to start here because as you know, we're going to just smear and smear, but we're not complete idiots here, right? We are going to use, you know, the paper I was using at the beginning of the broadcast. I'm going to use that, fold it in two, 
And that is going to be my little, um, you know, hand mat for when I, I get into the areas that are a little tricky. So here, Rick, this is your, your background showing through. Um, you know, what's kind of cool, something happens when you use uh, a pencil like this. Okay, this is a perfect example. Look, the graphite has gone on to the wood and the wood itself has provided with a little bit of blending. Um, it's, it's, it's a neat little thing to, to witness when that happens. You know, when you use the side like this, the wood itself is playing a little role that you really didn't expect it could, but it does sort of like set the, um, the graphite onto the paper. I really like that. Okay. So I've got just a perfect amount of texture on this, on this piece of paper for this kind of pencil. I have to tell you, medium texture and graphite are, I think, a match made in heaven. So if you do get your hands on some of these graphite pencils that uh, Faber-Castell is uh, giving away uh, at the Drawing with France uh, group on Sketchy Art School, because guys, this is what's happening tomorrow. Ten of you are going to be chosen, ten of you who are in the Drawing with France group, or Drawing with France, if you will, um, ten of you are going to be chosen and you're going to get free Faber-Castell graphite pencils. Yay! It's a whole set of them. And I mean, oh, there's no better way to be motivated to draw than just to get these supplies and wanting to try them out, right? Oh, I love that. I love going to the art store and coming back with just a couple of pencils, you know, but just being so happy to, to try them out. <laughs> All right, so did you notice that I'm doing uh, around the face, spending maybe a little more time than I wanted, but it's okay. All right, determining here the side of Rick's face. I'm noticing that the dark here and the dark from his face are going to actually blend in together. It's going to be an interesting phenomenon. All right, uh, switching back and forth between the regular size 2B, which you see has already been used. So what I'm going to do is sharpen it a little bit to show a little bit more of the, um, yeah, there. See, that way when I use it again, I'm going to have a little more. But this is even better because look at the amount that I can play with. Oh, I love that. By the way, what I just did here, the whole... Uh, I do that a lot when I draw with pencil because I'm constantly having little pieces of lead lying around that I don't want to uh, to drag in places that they're not supposed to be. Okay, let's move on a little faster here using the side, as you can see. Funny that I want to determine the... Uh, the background so much but there's a reason for it is because again being right-handed if I did this last I would have to go over his face and I'm not really interested in doing a whole lot of that in fact right now I don't need this so much this is H to H this really does not smear um, almost at all so I'm feeling safe uh, going over this with my hand this is really dark here very dark on the side of, the, of Rick's face. Okay. Hi, Almon uh, Mascari. Okay, cool. Hello, hello. Getting some people from all over here. Almon, where are you from? Can you tell us? Talk to us. So did you notice that so far I've, I've been really a, a big fan of holding my my pencil this way, right? Because holding it this way again allows me to go into some really broad strokes. Okay. So again, reminding you that this is the first of three broadcasts that we are doing in partnership with uh, Faber-Castell. 
And uh, the reason is because Faber-Castell is giving us some discounts if we use the sketchy um, code. If we go to FaberCastell.com, you will be able to buy any one of these supplies, uh, mostly pencils, for 20% off, which is always welcome. Okay, bringing in a little bit of dark here. Okay, it's starting to take shape. Um, if I continue like this, right, if I continue drawing mostly with the side of uh, my graphite, I am going to, yes, cover quite a bit of ground, which is exactly what I want. I am also uh, not going to be too fussy about all the details. This is going to be one of those, like, uh, almost charcoal-y looking uh, drawings, and I'm perfectly okay with this. Perfectly okay with the results being very loose because you know this kind of this kind of pencil really allows that. Okay. Hi Elijah from Philly. Hi. It was great to meet you the other day. It was really nice to be in your company in New York City, even though it was cold. Right? Okay. And what a French last name you have. Calard. Elijah. Okay, let me see. Okay, did you notice? I'm going in. I'm going into the face now. Um, starting, um, of course, where it feels safe and right. Because I've already established, as you know, where where my eyebrows, or rather Rick's eyebrows, but you know what I mean, the eyebrows that I'm drawing uh, are going to be, all right, adding a little bit of that background up on top, not going too crazy. So right now, um, cross-hatching is not really the key. Right now I'm just covering ground and just trying to add values where I think I see them. So, Fruit Face 22, if you don't mind my asking, where do you live? Do you live in PA or do you live... Oh, I think you said you lived in Jersey, so you are probably on that side of the border, right? Because Jersey is either a suburb of New York or a suburb of Philly. Okay, so we've got a little bit established here. We are going to add a little more there. And now for his eyes. Now I'm probably going to use the, um, the, the pencil in a more conventional way because I want to be sure that I'm getting his eyes right. Let me see. Okay, I think I've placed it just about right. I'm not pressing too hard on my pencil though. There's no need at this point. I'm just kind of making sure that I'm establishing the, the shape of his eyes rather accurately. Okay. I mean, raise your hand if, like me, you have so much fun drawing Rick's eyes. Because I do. I mean, my gosh. Hmm. And, uh, okay, live in South Jersey, Burlington County. Okay, yes, yes. I, I know, I've been there, Fruit Face 22. <laughs> and, Paul, I do live in the United States. I live in New Jersey. But way north of that, I am close to, uh, not far from Pennsylvania, not far from New York State, in Morris County, New Jersey. That's where I am. We're getting a beautiful, cold winter-like weather today. It's it's really pretty. 
Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the first of three broadcasts. Next week, we are going to meet again. We are going to do another broadcast like this one, but you guessed it, um, with pen. So same time, same place. We are going to work with pen. Faber-Castell is also sponsoring our broadcast next week and the week after that. And uh, that's going to be fun because you know how much I love drawing with pen. And uh, their pens are also a really good quality. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And the week after that, in a couple of weeks, we are going to um, go with colored pencils. So don't forget that next week we're, we're going to be together. There's going to be some giveaways also, which, um, you know, I don't know all the details of right now, but I'm sure it's going to be good, just like this week. If you go to FaberCastell.com, you can get 20% off graphites and a lot of their supplies by using a code. The code is sketchy. Sorry for my sniffles. And uh, you can get your hands on some of the best sketching material out there. I absolutely love this brand. Okay. <laughs> it is chilly today. Um, we should do absolutely a fruit face. I would be I would be there in a heartbeat. A sketchy meetup in New Jersey. I'm sensing that we could have some people join. And I would be tempted to say Princeton, because this is such a nice, uh, centrally located place, and plus it's it's a town we could sketch there. I've done it before. I absolutely love going there. So just a thought, something that we could probably put together for where the warmer uh, weather comes along. Marcel, you have a good question, and uh, I think this would be a good one for a sketchy to answer whether those giveaways are for US only. I do not know. Okay, so I've got one eye going here. Um, I hope it looks like Rick. I think it does, right? Does it? Does it? But as you know, with me and resemblance, I have, a, I have an interesting relationship with uh, likeness. It is not usually my holy grail. What I really like instead is achieving, you know, some really interesting values and and have fun with that. And if it looks like the person on top of it, then that's that's great. But that's usually not what I get too hung up on. And this is exactly what's happening to me right now. I'm just not really worried about this. Okay, adding just a little cross hatching inside the eye to make it very realistic. And make it pop even more. Okay, adding just a little bit of detail right there. Here too. Remember that inside the eye, things are rarely just white. This is where a great pencil comes in handy, you know. Um, yeah just how versatile it is. Hi Robin, I'm so glad you're here. And yes, next week, indeed, we are doing uh, pens. So we are also going to use Faber-Castell uh, supplies. And um, with your permission, everybody, I am now going to grab my 6B. So 6B, here we go, right? 6B is just going to allow me to really get into those dark, dark areas and really block out anything that is not entirely dark right now with just a tiny bit of pressure. 
just enough. And just building on those darks. Okay, we've got uh, we've got an eye. I'm still in the 6B here. Going back to 2B. Yes, uh, Elijah, I have done a couple of uh, uh, sketchbook school meetups in uh, in Princeton. I love the fact that you know so many people are in that area. It's it's great. Or we should do that uh, also with Sketchy. That would be really cool. Just to sketch, just to share our experiences and our little sometimes frustrations and and all the things. You know what I'm really tempted to do now with um, uh, with Rick is focus on the what would be his right side, the right side of his face, which I see as the left hand side of his face and see what happens. And then if I have enough time to really complete everything, uh, what time do we have now? Yeah, I may. And I may not, you know, it might be one of those, uh, let's walk away from this because we know exactly what, what could happen on the other side kind of thing. That's fine too. All right. Going very lightly now with my my 2B um, because I'm playing between some very dark, dark tones here, but also some much lighter tones here by his nose. So just being super, super light. And keep in mind for the um, American market, U.S. customers, you can get 20% off any like graphite, mostly graphite supplies of Faber-Castell online at FaberCastell.com. And if you've joined, um, if you've joined our group, Drawing with Friends on Sketchy Art School, uh, you are eligible to be one of 10 people tomorrow to be chosen to get um, free Faber-Castell supplies. <clears throat> How cool is that? 10 of you are going to get that. Um, can I join? <laughs> um, I really like to. So Drawing with France on Sketchy Art School, join the group, it's entirely free. And by joining the group, automatically, you will be eligible to win some free supplies, in this case, graphite pencils, like the ones I'm using. Um, pretty conventional, but amazing uh, supplies. Nothing wrong with conventional size. I absolutely recommend them, recommend them to anybody. The jumbo allows me to cover so much ground. I absolutely love using this side here. Look at that. See, I'm, I'm really allowing myself to cover ground. Which you can also do, as I showed earlier, with uh, this size uh, pencil. But this is just tiny, even tiny bit more ground covered. Okay, so how about that nose, Rick? How about I do this nose? It looks as though the nose is aligned here with uh, the end of Rick's ear. So again, not going into a huge amount of detail, but always keeping in mind, okay, where are my darker tones? I'm kind of going with that. And now we're going to go into beard territory, but before I do, I want to make sure that I've got this kind of well laid out. Okay.
Wow, I think I'm gonna have a half rick today. What do you say? Right? A half rick. I hope it's uh, it's okay with everybody that it's um, it's going to be maybe a little more than half. But you know me when I when I chat and I explain a few things. You know, it takes it takes time away from just pure drawing. So, how many of you, yes, Elijah, beard, <laughs> um, how many of you are actually drawing this as I draw it too? Show me some hands, if you can, I would like to know. How many of you are drawing Rick as I'm drawing Rick? Just a little bit too much here. There we go. Okay. Do you notice we're we're getting some really nice uh, tones here? Oh, Jessica, that's an interesting thing. You find yourself using my drawing as as your reference. I love that. I gosh, I wish I could do more of this, where I could just sit and watch the process. You know, people draw. Um, that would definitely inform what I do a little better, too. Okay. So, who's drawing? Yay! Awesome, awesome. Good, good, good. So, um, Almond, Half Cross, Hatch, Have Blended Style. Cool. You're trying, Jessica. Good. Betty, you're doing it. Okay. Theophilos, uh, Kurametis. Oh, that sounds Greek. You are doing it too. Rahana Khan, you are beautiful. Yes. Um, André Gendron, you are doing it as well. Anne, yay. Okay, this is cool. Um, I'm seeing everybody telling me that uh, you are drawing. Brenda, you're drawing. Oh, sweet. Okay, this is great because I... I am curious to know if you are getting some results as well. Are you also doing the thing on the side of the of the pencil, Paul? You're doing it too. That's awesome. You know the thing where I can get a lot of uh, a lot of ground covered with just a few strokes like this. Look at that. Okay. Uh, printer toner all over. Oh, ouch. And yes, Theophilos, you are Greek, right? Yes, you, you can't hide from, from such a Greek name. That's beautiful. Okay. All right, beard. Are you guys ready? We're going to go into this. Um, always bringing in... So if, if I may pause for a second... Take a look at, at uh, Rick's photo, right? We have a lot of light here. This is where I don't want to draw. But it's not as light here and it's not as light here. It is as light right up here though. So we have about the same uh, amount of light here and here. So this is what I want to leave alone. The rest, however, I am going to feel pretty free blending in like this. Okay. And that's okay, Uta, that you had to prepare dinner. And uh, what is going on, Elijah? Is arthritis coming in the way? Is that what's going on? Oh, if that's the case, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oof, that sounds horrible. And I think, Chris, you were saying something earlier and I missed it. I saw your name pop up. Yeah, Chris, do you ever stop to sharpen pencils or do you prefer... Oh, do you ever stop to sharpen pencils or do you prefer to have ready supplies of sharpened pencils to switch to? I usually rarely use a bunch of pencils when I draw, even though that's kind of the case here because I'm... I'd just been juggling between 2B and 6B a little bit, and then the 2H at the beginning. But no, I if I need sharpening, I am going to sharpen. 
But as you've noticed here, it has not been the case. Because the thing is, when you use the side, you are actually sharpening your pencil like crazy. This is extremely sharp. Because I've been using, you know, the sides as I go. So funny enough, the sharpening is happening almost against my will. So it works out pretty well that this is actually um, working out. I'm not sharpening this puppy. I love the way it feels right now. So again, um, if you are just coming in and you want to get your hands on some Faber Castell supplies, graphite on their uh, website, you use the sketchy code and you get 20% off, ladies and gentlemen, 20% off. And by joining my group, Drawing with France on Sketchy Art School, you are eligible to be one of 10 people tomorrow to win supplies, to win graphite pencils, because we are in the graphite week here at Sketchy Art School. And um, you, can, um, you can actually get these for free by signing up. It's free, entirely free. Oh my gosh, Elijah, I'm sorry to hear this. Cystic fibrosis related. Oh, so that's what you were talking about, I believe, when we were sketching together last week at Washington Square Park. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So this must be an interesting challenge to deal with when it comes to sketching. Oh my goodness. And by interesting, I mean unfortunate. But it's proof that, you know, those of us who don't face those physical challenges, when we make excuses, you know, for not drawing, we have to really look and see, okay, we are not faced with the same kind of challenges that some, of, some others are, and that's a lesson right there. The fact that you're out there and sketching anyway, Elijah, that's pretty spectacular. Puts everything in perspective. Okay, so maybe going into the eastern region of, of uh, Rick's face, perhaps. But right now, definitely, definitely working and working the, the western region, you know, the northwest here. You know, adding a tiny bit of cross-hatching just to suggest, you know, the eyebrow here in some of its detail. And always coming back and adding more dark tones where they belong. All right, what do you think? We've got a half rig so far. I mean, not even, look, I, I really need to get to, to where his mouth is. There's the, some grayish hair in the beard that I cannot neglect. Okay. Um, Amuda Salami, you're asking a really interesting question. Um, am I going to cross-hatch over that blending for styling? Um, you know, it all depends on how much time I have, clearly. But um, I do like, when I have enough time, coming back and adding a little bit of detail where it belongs. But I don't always feel the need to do this. Because once you start doing this in some places, you really have to do it kind of everywhere. So right now I'm happy with a looser style, but adding, did you notice, just adding a little bit of detail where I think it belongs, just enough to show the features of, uh, of Rick's face. Okay, there we go.
getting into that beard and that mustache. Not really seeing a mouth, but knowing that it's somewhere here, you know, kind of crooked, really making things interesting. We are, uh, we've been drawing for a little less than an hour, so I'm going to draw a little bit more here to, to cover what I think I need to cover because I, I did a lot of demos with the Faber-Castell uh, pencils. So, And uh, yes, Michael, I'm right with you. Michael Griffin, you're saying, love those Faber-Castells. I'm right with you. They are such great graphites. My gosh. Can't go wrong with them. Look at that. Look at how dark we get. Um such a pleasure. And again, working on that background and, and really just pushing on the side here of my, my graphite and achieving exactly the dark tones that I want. Look at that. And so broad, you know, those broad strokes. Um, <laughs> Robin, you are funny. The Queen of the Castell, well, I hope uh, somehow that I've, uh, I've done them justice because really they're a great company. I've been using them for as long as I've been drawing. If, uh, if you go to France to my parents' house, I'm sure you, you will still find some Faber-Castells lying around the house, you know. It's, it's been a, it's been a very long-term relationship for me to, to draw with these. Faber-Castell pencils. It's it's not an overnight thing. Coming from Europe, you know, they are the go-to pencils. I was saying this earlier when Ute was saying, uh, Ute in Germany um, was saying that this is really the, the brand over there. It is very much the case in France as well. We've got Canson paper and we've got, you know, Faber-Castell pencils. That's that's how it is in Europe, really. Um, and thank you, Peggy, for, for tuning in, uh, for, for watching the broadcast and for following along. I'm so glad that so many of you are drawing along, too. I'm going to go into the beard a little. Um, obviously not as much as I would like. Keep in mind those of you who want to, you know, get their hands on some Faber-Castell supplies, you go to FaberCastell.com and you enter Sketchy as a code and you get 20% off. Um, and then if you join, which I know most of you have here, the Drawing with France group on Sketchy Art School, then you're going to get a chance to be uh, one of 10 people tomorrow to get chosen to receive free Faber-Castell supplies, graphite, and boy, is this yummy to, to draw with this. This is just what it should be. I mean, look at this. And look, as I've been drawing, right, with the side, this look... Oh, this, I wish I could show you this. I don't know how much you can see here. Maybe if I stop moving. This almost looks like, you know, the sides of a diamond. You know how it's been just polished. And so the result of this is that you get a very, very sharp point. Um, it's so cool to be able to do that with any graphite. Now... If I were to really want to achieve the darks that I want, I'm going to grab that 6B again. And I'm going to go into it right here where I see that darkness needs to come through. There it is. Oh, it is really just a pleasure to achieve that kind of dark with a graphite. Look at that. Suggesting the the wrinkle here a little. 
because I'm using a very dark graphite, but if you've noticed on, on the reference photo, right, which is right above me, next to where I'm drawing, there's quite a bit of dark to achieve right there in his nose. I have not even done the other eye, but look, we've got a half Rick. <laughs> we do. We do. We have a half Rick. I really hope he's going to like this. Oop, just broke the tip. That's okay, because it's not the tip that I'm interested in. I just want the edge, you know, the edge of the graphite here to achieve those broad strokes in the dark here. And yeah, I, it's true that I've really pushed um, the darkness around Rick's face um, maybe more than it actually is on the original photo, but that's it's not a worry of mine. <clears throat> okay. Going back to the 2B to finish up. Um, and then we're going to say goodbye in a tiny bit. Just want to at least suggest the fact that there is a beard. I think Rick is growing his beard on the side too. If you've kept up with his uh, posts, you've noticed that he's not just doing the goatee thing. He's also growing the sides right here. Um, maybe it's a winter thing. Maybe Rick can tell us more about this. Um, but it's definitely thickening on the sides. Whereas I think he used to shave that. Isn't that funny to know somebody so well that you've never met? Because you're just really just saving photo after photo, hoping that you're going to have the time to to do it. I'm just so happy that we actually went with uh, with a photo of Rick today because he just keeps delivering the goods, you know. And we're just keeping up. Okay, trying to suggest hair here because there's quite a bit of gray. But also knowing that I want to cover ground, so I'm also, you know, trying to to show texture. Not there. All right, quickly. But you know what? What this did, though, the fact that I had already established. Um, where his his head is, it allowed me, even though I did clearly only one half, it allowed me to have the confidence to to not let things grow literally out of proportion, you know, and to keep at a reasonable scale, because I think that's the word I'm looking for, scale. And again, really using the side just to cover and to give also this really um, uh, texture, this really grainy texture that, that you get from uh, uh, from drawing just from the side of your, your graphite pencil. Hi, um, I want to say Ratchapom Suriyatai from Thailand. I hope I said this right. <laughs> okay. Um, do you change what softness of lead you prefer based on how toothy your, your paper is? So does the tooth of the paper influence um, how much I want to change the softness of the pencil? Perhaps, but rarely actually. I just go with 2B and I really usually use the same kind of toothy paper anyway. So for me, staying in 2B and having this type of um, texture on the paper is usually it. This is it for me. 
Don't stray too far away from that. Okay, let me see if I've got uh, Rick's shoulder right. Okay, I think it's located right around here. How are we doing in time? I think we are um, at about an hour and 15 minutes that we've been together. Those of you who arrived at, uh, at the beginning, I was talking about Faber-Castell um, supplies and the different, the different hardnesses that you can get out of a pencil. And this really allowed us to, to get a good feel Okay. Um, yes, I'm going to go too. You know what, Elijah and Marcel, I am also going to sign off. So take a look. I've got a super sharpened pencil now as a result of having drawn with the side. So no need for this, you know, those, uh, this really cool uh, pencil sharpener that I bought. My gosh, I must have bought this 13 years ago. And I use it. This is my go-to uh, pencil sharpener, though I don't really travel with this, this stays home, uh, then you empty it when, when it's full, which I rarely do, I have to admit, um, but this is a great pencil sharpener for, you know, either the, the jumbo one or uh, the thinner kind. So one last reminder before I sign off is that we have two things happening with this uh, partnership which is 20% off uh, any uh, graphite, any supply uh, that's eligible on the website at fabercastell.com. Um, <clears throat> so that's one thing. And then secondly, tomorrow, those of you who are part of the Sketchy Art School drawing group, Drawing with France, you will be eligible to win um, graphite pencils by... Uh, by Faber-Castell, which is really cool. Um, <clears throat> so please sign up if you haven't yet. It's free to sign up for Drawing with France group. And next week, we're going to see each other again at the same time, same place for me, and I'm going to draw with pen. Um, so we've got, a <laughs> we've got a half rake here. But if anything, this really showed the range of tones that you can use with just two different types of graphites, which is 6B into the super dark ones and HB for the rest. And also, as you know, if you were here at the beginning, I did this whole outline very quickly using the 2H. So this was it today. We used 2H, 6B, and oop, wrong one, and uh, 2B here in the middle. So really this was it for today. These three here. And uh, it is my habit to to stick with 2B only and I could have but I wanted to do an outline at 2H and uh, do some really dark dark with 6B. This was it and this was all Faber-Castell. Take a look. They are here. A really great supplies. Next week we are definitely going to put down the pencil and use pen, ladies and gentlemen. All those pins.